All right. So today we'll be looking into Crunch. So Crunch is an alternative to Kalinux's um, char set um, mode, where you can choose if you want to use uppercase or lowercase or numbers or symbols. Uh, I'll just show it to you real quick. Hashcat H, and you can see the char set. So char set. You could do L for lowercase, U for uppercase, D for decimal, H is like half of the alphabet, I guess. It's like A through F, and then decimal. Uh, capital H is the same thing, but it's capital letters. Uh, special, S is for special characters. A is a special one where it has a lowercase, an uppercase, a decimal, and then a special character. And then B is hex values 00, zero through FF. Um, this is really good if you have something that would take up a lot of space otherwise. So if you made a word list and it's like nine to 10 characters and it has letters and numbers, um, this is definitely a better alternative to Crunch. But what Crunch is good at is making small, concise word lists that can consist of words um, or you can have specific letters, specific numbers, specific uh, special characters. All that good stuff so let's look into it so clear and we're gonna do the manual for crunch so man crunch since the dash h doesn't really give you much and you can see here is the synopsis so you type in crunch and then you have your minimum length your maximum length and then you have your char set so you have to actually give out so a b c d e uh one two three six, seven, you can't just give uh, L for lowercase letters or it's a lot more specific than Hashcat is. Um, options, you can do um, a specific size of a file, specific number of lines. Um, uh, you can give it a string for when it needs to stop. So say you wanted A, A, B, C, D and you wanted it however uh, you can stop at C, 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 D, or you can stop at D, C, B, whatever, whatever you want to stop at, you can stop at it. What's really cool about Crunch is that you can do words. So you can give it word one and word two, or however many words you want, and it will make you a word list out of that. So let's, let's quit this, and let's say Crunch. Um... I don't think the length really matters when you're giving it words because it just does the words. It doesn't really do a length, but we're gonna, I think you have to give it a length still. Um, and then we're going to give them a first name. So Luke, a last name, uh, Joffrey, because we're not using real names here. Um, James for the middle name. Uh, let's go 12 just as their favorite number of choice. Uh, let's give them an ID number. So eight, one, six, three, four, five, and then a birthday. So June and then seventh. Um, so now we need to put a dash P. So dash P. And then if you don't give it out, a word list out, it will just print it to your screen. And with the new Kyle Linux update, you can't always see all of the terminal. So we're going to give it an out. I'm going to do word list two dot LST. And you can see it's 15 megabytes. Um, oh, and it's going to print it out to the screen. Why did it do that? Um, all right, let's look at that again. It put dash O inside of the dash P. That was kind of weird. So word list dot txt. Okay, so now it is 15,000 bytes instead of 15 megabytes and it's completed. So let's look and we see word list. Oh, I just did word list. Okay, right, right, right. all right. So nano word list dot txt and we can see here's our 12 um here's our seven from the birthday here's the id number 
uh, Joffrey, James, June, Luke. Um, I just added in something right there. But um, you can see we have, this is like the entire list right here. So it's super short, super concise. It's not gonna take very long to run. Oh, this is not the whole list. We still have a little bit of ways to go. But it's still not gonna take very long to run and it's very good if you are doing a targeted collection for one specific person or a specific company or whatever the case may be where you know hey this guy's dog's name's in here his birthday's in here and his username on instagram is in here but i don't know what order it's in so we're just gonna do every permutation of that and crunch is really the program that you should use for that um, if you want a bigger word list, so AT&T used to use 10 or 11 digit passwords on their Wi-Fi routers, um, and it was purely digits, uh, so there was no letters, there was, we're going to exit out of that, there was, it was just 10 letters, I'm pretty sure, so we're going to do 10, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and... We're going to do an out file and we're going to do att.lst. Uh, .lst and .txt are interchangeable within Linux. Uh, it does not matter. I've seen both. Um, txt is definitely the more normal way to do it. LST is a little edgier, I guess. Um, and let's see if I did that right. 102 gigs. I did do it right. So this will write out how many lines? One, two, three. I don't even know how many, I can't, I don't know why I'm blanking. What is that? A million, a billion, it's like 10 billion or something. Uh, we're going to cancel that because I don't have that much space on this VM. But this is where crunch is not useful. Uh, this is where you would use Hashcat and it would create the next one on the fly and you wouldn't have to store it. So that's what crunch is good at and that's what the Hashcat char sets are good at. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked it. And don't forget to get subscribed to see my next videos. See you guys.